What is up, guys? Pie Muffin here. We are back with our Tales of the Rays video. I haven't really made a video on the Arc 1 revamp since it came out, and I figured now would be the best time to do so since we do still have some time while the half AP campaign is still going on. So I want to go over something that a lot of people have kind of said, you know, how it's hard to get all the requirements done. And I was one of those people for a while. Um, but my good friend Rita, shout out to her, um, showed me basically a good way to kind of get through some of these requirements. Like some of the ones where it's like, um, you have to use a certain amount of mirage arts or you need to get a certain mirage uh, percentage before the end of the mission. And as some of you know, when you have max level characters like I do, like let's go over here, I'll just show you real quick. It's very hard to get mirage gauge just from battling. Now, I'm sure a lot of people will be like, oh, I already know this method, you know, it's pretty common sense, but you'd be surprised. I didn't even think about it uh, in these terms. Um, but like, let's say, let's look for example, um, I think the first one should be levels. Yeah, so as you can see, pretty much everyone, I, I have some level 70s, and then my lowest level character is this level 50 Phoenix. Everyone else is, because, I mean, the, you get diamonds for getting them up to level 60, so I try to get everyone to level 60 right when I get them. Getting characters to 70 is a little bit harder, because even with all the gems that you get, it's still not really enough. And hopefully they don't increase the level cap anytime soon. I mean, if they add a new, like, XP material thing, I wouldn't mind it. But uh, I don't see them increasing the level cap anytime soon. Especially someone like me, look, I have four characters that are actually level 70. And then a lot of my other characters are in the mid or low 60s. But um, enough about that. We are going to be going over how to essentially set up a team that will work for this kind of stuff. So most stages in the story mode have you you fight three normal battles if you battle everyone on the map. And then the fourth battle will be the boss. Now the best thing to kind of do here, this will mainly work if you have a lot of seasonals. So a lot of seasonals have a mirage gauge. So your mirage gauge essentially is what you have to fill up before you can use a mirage art in case you don't know. And there's a lot of characters that have seasonals and with a 80 cost mirage gauge. So essentially once you've done those three fights and sometimes even during the third fight, regardless of how fast you kill the enemies, you will have your mirage gauge filled up. And I'll show you, I'll show you in some gameplay in a second here. But like, for example, my Mogilu is someone who I'm using on my main team for this right now as I'm going through the story. Now, there's going to be a certain cutoff point where it's not going to work just using whoever you want. Like right now, I'm in like the Chapter 4 stuff with Saray. So it's not a big deal to have the correct anima types or anything like that. But when you get to Chapter like 10 plus, uh, you're pretty much going to have to find a way to get your Mirage Gauge up while also using the correct animas, because otherwise you're just going to get smacked around. But Mogilu Seasonal, for example, right here, if you look down here, right here, it costs 80. So that's going to guarantee that by that fourth battle, I have her Mirage Art up. Now, with her regular Mirage Art, it's not the same, it's 100. So I could still get her Mirage uh, Art in the fourth battle, but it's not guaranteed. I might kill the enemy before that gauge gets all the way up there. So it's always best to kind of choose a level eight mirror or level 80 or 80 cost, sorry, uh, mirage gauge. So let's go over. I'll show you what my team is that I'm using. Um, this is the team I'm kind of rocking right now. It has two healers, which really doesn't work, but I didn't really think of getting another seasonal. Okay, I could probably switch Elise or Mogilu for somebody else. Um, let's actually, we'll, we'll look real quick. We'll think about seasonal characters and who I might have seasonals for. Um, all right, so right off the bat, let's just scroll. Oh, wait, I have it filtered for red units. We don't need that. All right, seasonals. Who do we have seasonals for? Um... We have a seasonal for Yuri, but I already know his paintbrush doesn't uh, have an 80 mirage gauge. At least I'm pretty sure. Ludger. He might. I'm just trying to think, like, conclusively, like, who would be. You know what? Let, let's. Uh, no, you're a healer. I don't even want to. Let's look at uh, Lila, for example. Lila's a healer, too, but 
let's look at this mirror jar right here. This is... Okay, Lila works. Um, she's not, like, an overall, like, big healer, so I think we will actually use her. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much what you have to do, and if you don't, you know, if you want to kind of have an easier way to look at it without having to go through all your characters, you can always go to the Tales of the Rays wiki, which I will leave a link to down below. So once you've set up your team with four characters that have an 80 mirror gauge mirror jar, you just go, obviously, to the actual story... And we're going to do, we'll just do a quick mission here real quick before we get on out of here. Uh, and as everyone can see right here, uh, as of recording this video, there is no new event up. We are about a day, less than a day from the Gintama event starting, so that's pretty exciting. So, so far, I've completed, I've reset the thing, and I've completed all the way through Chapter 3 on Normal and Hard Mode. And I am currently in the hard mode of Chapter 4, finishing up Saray's chapter, which we still have a lot of stuff, so... I'd say pretty much all the way up to, like, Lloyd's chapter, you can pretty much not worry about the animas you're going to be using. Maybe around Chapter 8. It just depends how uh, stacked your account is. But I feel like Chapter 9, I'll have to start looking at seasonals that uh, kind of give low gauge while also having the right anima type. Because it'll be harder to beat. On normal, none of this is going to be a problem. Like, it will, I'll be able to beat all the way through 15 on normal, no problem. But when we get to hard mode... Um, the first arc is pretty difficult. Um, obviously when they reset it with full voice, they didn't lower the, uh, stats or anything. I still feel like the first arc is probably the hardest arc of them all. I feel like two and even three right now are relatively easy. We're not done with three yet, but I don't see a gang as hard as the first arc. Um, so let's actually go to the mission I'm actually at. So let's look at the requirements for this one. And I've kind of sort of memorize some of them like i know this one should be just use three mirror charts you can see the three right there so we're gonna worry about doing that but let me see if you see no it's not that one i'm trying to find that very specific uh there's like a low there's like one of these texts that has like a small amount of words with like a Obviously, I don't know Japanese. I just go based off of what I see. Um, but I have seen... I'm trying to find that one specific... It has to deal with the treasure chest. Basically, there's a requirement where you always have to get all the treasure chests on the map before continuing. So I'm trying to find that before we actually move on. I feel like it was a mission relatively uh, not too long ago that I did. It's like this thing right here, where you see this little, like, triangle at the top of this letter right here is usually what I look for when it comes to stages that need all the treasure chests. But, like, some of the stuff is pretty obvious, like this with the three, that's obviously, like, three mirror jarts, and then you get the ones with, this is, like, the amount of damage you need to do, so just do a lot of damage. And then, uh, where's the percent one? Like, this one you need 200% mirror gauge before the mission ends. Uh, so stuff like that. So let's go ahead, let's hop into this one, and we'll see how it goes. Should have no problems getting this done. I thought I'd just throw out this guide for anyone who really needs it. I feel like a lot of players probably know what to kind of do here, but some players might have a harder time. And as everyone can see, doing the story mode has really helped me stack up on my diamonds for this Gintama collab. Hopefully I won't have to spend everything to get everything I want, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Uh, we're going to turn off auto run so we can look at this real quick. Also, guys, so this is what I was looking for. That one in the middle right there is definitely for the uh, for the treasure chest. So we are going to have to look around for them real quick. So we'll just look on every nook and cranny here. And you guys will see how fast these uh, mirage gauges go up. Despite how fast we kill uh, these enemies right here. So as you can see there, Lila's already almost at 50%, and the rest of them are at like 30%. Which, I mean, it's kind of weird, because they're all 80 mirage gauge, so I guess Lila just got more with that first fight. Oh, 
Oh, and by the way, I did get confirmation. Um, I mentioned on my previous Gintama kind of breakdown video, I was hoping that that was uh, Fractured Milla. We do have confirmation that that is Fractured Milla, that Collab Mirror Jart is not for right, the Milla I'm playing with right here. It is not for her. It is for Fractured Milla, which is great because this Milla already has plenty of Mirror Jarts. So there's our first treasure chest we had to find. So as you can see, Lila's already got her Mirage Gauge up. Lila, Mogilu, and Lloyd will definitely all have their Mirage Art after this. And I think Milla might just almost be there. They might all actually be there at the end of this fight. Okay, so Lila's there. I think Lloyd might be there. They actually might all be there. Lila is definitely there 100%. Um, let's run over here. This is probably where the other treasure chest is. Yep, it's right here. And boom, let's take care of this. Yep, we all have it. So see, even though these enemies are weak as crap, um, you can definitely get your mirror jarts off when you need them. It's just obviously it's not as easy because some people only go for like one mirror dart per character. So if you don't have their seasonal, this obviously is not going to help you out too much. But we got to use all four. And look, Lila's already over 50% back to using an our mirror dart. Just from that. So we did everything there. Boom. All of it's complete. And that's pretty much everything you have to really worry about. I would just say if you don't want to worry about what each text is... Just go for every treasure chest on every map, and you use this method to use as many mirror jarts as you can, and you should be fine for 90% of the requirements. There, you might get one or two that are like, use the correct anima for this, which for the most part you should be using the correct anima anyway when you do these chapters, because uh, you get double stats, but sometimes you want to just kind of use your favorites, which is totally understandable. Anyways, guys, I hope this guide was helpful to you all. Let me know if it was down below. Let me know if you've been trying anything that you find works better. Definitely open to feedback on that. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I will see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.